spring is finally on the way and I'm getting just a little bit overexcited about the growing season. So much so that whilst adjusting my mower, I let loose and bore the lawn down to 10 mil. This is not the intention of today's video, but I'm glad that's the way it turned out. Right, it's been a few days since we had that snow, so the ground's a little bit moist still. It's not too bad though. Um, and the yard is ready for a cut, so I just thought I'd film a video today of me cutting the lawn, doing some maintenance, this and that, all the fun stuff. Um, but it might be a little bit risky today and um, whippersnip the edges and edge the lawn before I mow. So the reason I'm not a fan of whippersnipping beforehand is basically because um, I can never seem to get it quite even with the cut of the lawn. When you say low like this, you really notice like even if it's a couple of mil difference, um, your height in your cut if you whippersnip first, which is why I like to do it afterwards. But people always go on like, need to whippersnip first, man, because you're going to leave a mess of clippings everywhere. I don't care. But for the sake of it, I will do it today just to see how it goes. I haven't done it in ages, so I'll give it a go. Righty, so first thing I'm going to do is use my old whippy, my whippy snip. This bad boy just here. Yes, it has a bent shaft, I know. People bag me out. They're just straight shaft, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Um, but this thing does, does the job pretty well. Um, I like to have a bit of thicker, what do you call it? Trimmy stuff? Um, string trimming? I don't know. Line, trimmer line in there. Um, just because I like it how it, how it works, basically. But yeah. Let's do the edges and see how we go. <laughs> thing I want to show you guys is because we're getting some warmer soil temps now because it's hitting towards spring the grass underneath is a bit greener can you see the difference there look at that you can really tell over here where it's a little bit yellow around it look at that definitely greener underneath so there's no frost on the tips of that grass where there is across there so hopefully when we mow the lawn it'll green up a little bit so please. Is my edger, my man. Guess what? No battery. It means I remember to charge it. You here? Let's see if you can do it. Give it the GoPro. Give it a squeeze. Yeah. Cool. Stand, stand back. Ah. Oh, don't tell me I didn't charge it. No, I did. You did? I know I charged it. I didn't charge it. You did? I didn't. Huh. Well, that's that. We're not going to be... Oh my goodness. What a silly boy. Let's <laughs> swap this out now. Yeah. Bada beam, bada boom. So we're just going to set the height on it now, um, which mine's at about 12 mil. Can I put this? So which way do we go on it? So yeah, we want to make it cut that. a little bit lower. Yeah. So we're going to push it this way. Okay. To which number? Number. Near number 10. Oh. Number 12. So about here. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Good job. Then we tighten it back up over here. Daddy. I'm too big I'm too massive. That's all set up now. So now today we're going to do some checkerboard stripes because that's where we got the second highest votes in my last YouTube poll. Um, so we'll do a diagonal probably that way and then a straight up and down. But we're going to do double wides. Right on, boy. So when we roll the lawn, we have to cut it so good. And when we do it, it has to go so like this that Dad did it. Yeah. So when we do it, I mow the lawn, sometimes I pretend because my, my other little mower, my toy one, yep. gets it just not short. So I need to buy one when I'm old. <laughs> you need to buy one when you're older. I'll get you one when you're older, man. Thanks. <laughs> uh, definitely cut some grass. You can see it. Look at this. Boy, that's what we want. So good, so good. 
So I don't know what the height of cut is. Um, I'm not actually too worried about it. I'll find out once I finish cutting, I'll get the tape measure out and get keen, but let's keep going. <laughs> Side pass now. And I'll tell you what, it's definitely lower than it was. Definitely lower than it was. We've got our two different heights here. You probably can't see that well on camera, but let's check how high we are cutting today, boy. It's about 10 mil. And back here was at 17. So the grass had definitely grown. I thought it hadn't grown at all. So 10 mil, 16 mil. Yes, 10 mil looks good actually. A little bit of a scalpies on the corners, but looks nice. Yeah, you got me thinking. Oh, you got me thinking now. Loud, you kept me waiting, waiting for the next time around. My heart is beating faster than the beat of a drum. Right, so I just noticed it's not cutting properly along the um, strips. If you have a look over here. You can just see, if you have a look up at these runs, you can see like it's sort of digging in on one side. Might be a bit hard to see on camera, but if you come and look inside the catcher, you can see that it's throwing it heaps to one side instead of both sides. So I'm guessing that the reel to bed knife contact isn't that great. On this, I'll just check it. Yeah, all right, so I need to adjust it. That would have been smart to do beforehand. Yeah, getting close. Okay. Let's try it now. Stand back with me in. Yep. Nope. Cross the bed knife. Stand back. Good. Right. Oh, there you go. really good at that height. 10 mil is my new favourite. 12 mil. Dang boy. So I'll go do the front soon, I'm not going to film it, I'll film it and I'll put some footage over top right now. But I'm going to do the same pattern out the front, um, it should come up pretty good. Um, but let's get to the verdict of whippersnipping beforehand. Unfortunately, for me, this is what I'm talking about. See how it just doesn't cut it well? It just looks quite untidy. Now it doesn't help that I brought the height down a little bit this week, but it still wouldn't have been low enough anyway to get to my previous 10 mil. Look at this. Along these edges just here. How much longer that is there. I really do wish that I could actually just whip a snip beforehand and edge beforehand because my own is my favorite part. So I love finishing off things with my favorite part. Um, but you know, unfortunately for me, because I'm cutting so low, that's just the way it is. Now, if you were cutting your lawn a lot more often, you'd probably be all right with it, and you could get away with doing that. Especially if you're cutting every couple of days, you could whip snip beforehand, because the height wouldn't be that much different, and then mow afterwards as well. Which I'm gonna to try to do at this growing season, when I'm using PGR as well, so plant growth regulator, same thing. I am able to get away with doing a whippy beforehand, but not today, boy. That's the reason, because people have been going on at me that I don't whip snip beforehand. There's my reasoning guys. Oh. All right, I'm gonna wrap the video up there because I need to get this lawn mowed before these guys come. Um, so I'll finish it off later and I'll whip snip afterwards as well just to give it a really good tidy up. So yeah, sorry, I didn't explain. I explained it in the last video the other day that the photo news is coming over, which is like a newspaper. I don't really know. Um, just to do an interview. I'm not really sure on what, but they asked to have an interview, so we'll see how it goes. But lawn's looking good especially for the like leading into spring. Definitely getting some growth now. I might put some granular foot down soon. Put some um, acelaprin down as well. 
things are really going to start kicking off in this channel because as you can see things are getting green oh yeah boy even though we're still getting frost but soil temps are starting to rise just a little bit uh, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you click that bell notification because, as I said before, some guys aren't getting notifications. Um, and yeah, make sure you have a good week. Yes, the battery did finally charge, so now I'm able to use it. Glad it charged. <laughs>